me Someday I would buy Galleys with good oars And sails to distant shores Stand up high in the prow Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of February 15th, 2020. Before I start off with, I want to say I hope everyone had a fabulous Valentine's Day, and I want to say Happy President's Day to our President, Joe Biden. And with our stimulus news, <clears throat> excuse me, I mean, I mean, as you know, the impeachment trials are over and Trump has been acquitted. But even though he has been acquitted, does not mean he is innocent. I mean, if you paid attention to uh, what Mitch McConnell did say, he basically did say Donald Trump did incite the insurrection on January 6th. And although he says the Senate cannot charge him for um, the insurrection, since he's no longer president, he urged the state and local governments to go after him that way. As we know, Georgia has already started to file charges against him for calling their Secretary of State and asking him, well, not really asking him, but basically telling him he needs to find 11,700 some odd votes so he could win the Georgia elections. So that's pretty bad. And But now the politicians could put all their, their focus on the stimulus package. But before they can concentrate on the stimulus package, the Democrats must resolve the fighting within their party. Leaders of the leader of the Republicans, Mitch McConnell, but they said blame Trump for the insurrection, and but yet he still voted to quit him. So it makes you with well, <laughs> like I said, he, he voted to quit him with other forty-two uh, uh, senators. So it makes you wonder what Donald Trump has on them to make them turn their back on the American people. Um, the Democrat senators said Mitch McConnell made a very cowardly, very, very cowardly choice by uh, fighting to acquit him. And now that the trial is over, Congress decided to go on, just wait for it, you're not going to like this. They went on vacation again. Both the House and the Senate will not return until Monday of next week. I guess this three-day trial was just too much for them to handle, right? Now, the White House has basically invoked the Defense Protection Act, which forces private companies to make certain products. I have no idea what these certain products are at this present time, but when I find out, I'll be more happy to let you know. <laughs> Pfizer says that they can that they'll be able to send and deliver 2 billion doses of the COVID-19 vaccine by the end of this year because they've refined their production process. And last week, the Ways and Means Committee voted and approved on a section of the stimulus bill that deals with the $1,400 stimulus checks. That And now it goes on to the, um, the oh my gosh, the Budget Committee to where it will be confined, con not confined, sorry, where it will be combined, <laughs> sorry about that, with other parts of this bill. There are now two Democrats that we know of who actually could kill the stimulus package for the people. These two Democrats are Joe Manchin and Kirsten, Kirsten uh, Cinema, I believe her name is, and they both are could kill it just on the simple fact that the fifteen dollar hour minimum wage increase. Kirsten Cinema says that the increase has nothing to do with the pandemic, and Joe Manchin says that a fifteen dollar increase is too much. Eleven dollars per hour increase would be sufficient. So instead of making seven twenty five seven fifty an hour, which is a minimum wage, our minimum wage should be eleven dollars an hour. And that's to be sufficient surviving wage for the people. I hate to let Joe Manchin know that that is inaccurate. And cinema is also very inaccurate because a higher living wage will also help out the people get out of poverty and help them get more healthier from this COVID floating around. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi says she is determined to get the complete bill on President Biden's desk 
by the end of this month, which is in 13 days. The other politicians say and believe that they will not get this bill passed until March 14th, which is next month. This date is a very important date for one reason, because the federal unemployment boost runs out on that day. Now, there is no one will receive federal unemployment past March 14th of this year unless this bill gets passed. And they said this bill has a lot of great stuff in it. Besides the federal unemployment boost, it has the stimulus checks. It has money for COVID uh, relief and distribution. It has money for the schools to to basically comply with the CDC guidelines. It has state and local government funding to help out those uh, state and local governments have actually hit, had been hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as much, much more. And as I found out the more information about this, I would be more happy than to give it to you. So you guys have this in mind. So you know what our politicians are doing for us instead of what the Republicans are doing against us. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. Have a happy Monday. And I'll broadcast again to you guys tomorrow or Wednesday at latest. Until then, you guys have a wonderful evening.